Okay, I have the cover finished. Um, I also cut my mats for the inside pages. And um, this design from Laura Dennison um, is not one of my favorites, but I had the pages pre cut from ages ago. So I went ahead and built the book. This spine calls for um, sticky back canvas, which I have no interest in using. And so I just use um, my um, pattern paper, which is almost as heavy as cardstock, scored at an eighth of an inch and folded in half. So it's two thicknesses of paper and it makes a nice flexible spine. Now on my front you can see um, the old jalopy and I ended up doing just one layer of regular clear embossing powder on it. Um, I decided I didn't want the extra thickness that the UD would give me. Um, here's the metal clock Here's the chain. Um, this is a uh, brad for the hardware that you know really isn't hardware. And again, here holding the chain, I made a fob since um, I envisioned this for you know a dad for Father's Day. Um, I put on three teddy bears. And that could be three kids, that could be, you know, mom, dad, baby, you know, whatever they want it to symbolize. Uh, a key at the end. Three gears here, these are Tim Holtz. The, the uh, findings are um, stuff I got from China off of eBay, again, dirt cheap. Um, here's a flat back key. This key and this memories word is from Michael's. This is a, uh, I believe, a graphic 45 findings. I just found a uh, piece of the um, pattern paper that um, had something that fit in there nicely. And now, if you wanted to, you could fill this with glossy accents and make it a, a glossy button. I chose not to. Um, back out just a little bit. Let's see, this is proper gentleman paper throughout. Um, these pages fold out. Each one does, and it, here is a place to put a mat. And I have decided on black paper with the gray for matting it on both sides. And um, This page, particular page, has place for one, two, three tags. And this one, diagonal pockets for three tags. This one, uh, well, vertical pockets fit at least two. And again, all these pages fold out. Here's another corner pockets. And the last one are horizontal, and each um, front and back inside covers have a pocket. We'll have to decide what to do with those. Um, I cut pre-cut tabs. Um, with my, um, oh boy, I can't even think of the name of it now. Uh, it's an EK success, but it's a, it's discontinued, they're hard to find, um, but it cuts tabs, and I love it. And I will be using that for my, um, my large, 
mats that go inside each page as well as probably on the smaller mats that will go throughout the book in the pockets. I haven't decided on any way in which I'm going to embellish these pages. Um, I may do some edge punching. You'll notice they're not glued down in case I decide to do something that is uh, requires you know, brads to hold them down or magnets or something. Um, but I have all the pages cut to size so I know that I have enough paper to do my basic mats. Um, I pulled out my Tim Holtz book of stamps. Um, I do actually have a video that shows you how I made this. I am loving this. Um, I don't travel with my um, supplies. And even if I did, I think this is uh, mostly perfect. You see how I have all his, um, his stamps anchored in here. And it, it was quick and easy to do, and it makes these so much more accessible. So I will probably use a good number of these to just add a light stamp on the um, large pad. We'll see what inspires me at the moment. Um, I'm going to go cut those and... Um, then I'll come back and we can play together on how I design the, you know, what kind of stamps I put on those mats. See you soon. Okay, I've got the um, tags and mats cut. And the first thing I'm going to do is round the corners. I think it's less amateurish looking. While I was cutting my cardstock, I decided that I would want I want to make a booklet. So I cut two pieces at six by eight and a half.
Score these in the center. Okay, four and a quarter. I will mat these and when I'm done I will take um, my punch and I'll punch one and a half inches from each side and I'll put a cord or a uh, ribbon through there to hold it together. Let's give these a good crease. I'm going to do is ink up the edges and on these I think I'm going to do um, a little more in from the edges than I have been on um, the others. I think it's a nice look. And I want to find the slip side which was it. Gives it a nice smoky look. do all of these and then I will come back. Okay, I am trying to figure out what color of ink I'm going to stamp my mats with. So I've done a, a sample piece here with just or a scrap piece of paper and I've edged it and um, I'm starting out with Sahara Sand by Stampin' Up. See what that looks like. It's actually pretty. It uh, it's got a little bit of brown to it, so I like that one. So Sahara Sand so far is definitely a possibility. Now I've got uh, also Stampin' Up going gray. Let me see if I can bring this in. have a tough decision here. Okay, now I'm going to use dry weathered wood. Oh no, we're not liking that one. That is too blue. I thought that might be the case, but to give it a shot. Ok, 
Okay, this is next. I'm going to try pumice stone. Well, that's okay, but I think it's too dark. doing pumice stuff. Okay, now this is iced spruce, which is the color that I edged it with. Decisions, decisions. I like these three. I think I'm going to go with this one, the um, Sahara Sand by Stampin' Up. It's um, a little more subtle, and that's what I want for this for the stamps on these. the floor de lis It was a it seemed a good choice to uh, to test stuff out. I think I'm going to mix it up with sayings. So, I'm going to use this one. Life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. And these are all Stampers Anonymous Tim Holtz collection stamps.
last one. those at least for a bit. Okay, I am just going to mount these. tags and then I will be back. Okay, I got the tags done that go inside the pages. I am thinking maybe on um, the tabs here I'm going to put maybe a white or a gray shirt button, maybe two, um, but I'm going to lay them on there a little later and see what I think. Um, I did two tags for the front and back cover. Now I'm going to work on that uh, mini book insert. I need to cut um, mats for these and since those are six by four and a quarter these need to be five and three quarters by four. Three out of this eight and a half by eleven sheet of cardstock. to choose a piece of pattern paper for the cover and it will be five and three quarters by four. Go use this one. It's a recurring theme.
use this corner down here. So that's why I cut it the way I did. bottom corners around it. And we'll decide how we're going to decorate that. Put this away for you. I'm just going to do a, um, a very minimal edge on these. I just want to get the cut edges inked. I'm not going to go in as much as I did on the other ones. As you can see, I have been busy. Um, my videotape decided it had to be cleaned before it would record. And it took all day. I I've never seen anything like it. But anyway, um, this is the insert. I um, used the tattered clock for... Um, Enjoy the journey on the bottom. And these are both um, black embossing powder. And then I uh, wrapped some twine around it and tied a bow. And then I used the same twine to make the, um, the tie. I haven't put these together yet. I have one more piece of the brown that I will punch holes here with and do another on the top. So when this opens up, it was it will let me zoom out here. You can see I stamped the clocks on the pages. And so it's a nice multi-page little booklet. Now to put this together, since my punch will go through several thicknesses of paper, I am going to do that instead of trying to align them um, one at a time. I 
and see where the punch is going to come down. So I know that I'm punching on the line. Hi, bear. You can fasten these together any way you want to. I am using this jute because it's what I have on hand. side I'm going to decide here and now whether I'm going to put buttons on this I do not have any white buttons so we'll, I'm going to try these uh, the gray ones and the color matches the theme of the book with the gray pages Sort of thinking not. No, I think we better just to leave these as they are. So no buttons. Or at least not on those. See, I've got the tab, the I've got tags for the uh, cover, pot inside and out, and, um, front and back, inside cover pockets. This is going to live in here. to do, decide what I want to do with this piece. It's um, sort of your opening statement. I have already pre-edged, pre-inked the edges. Um, 
I'm not sure how I'm going to mat these beyond what they're already done. Um, I feel like there needs to be something and I may just decide to find a um, a stamp and may, it may be the clock again and just do the bottom corners and um, emboss it with the black embossing powder again you know for the continuity but that leaves the whole page for um, whoever receives this and fills it to choose what they want to do with it well, I am going to um, finish this up I will record anything interesting I decide to do and um, I will be back at least with the finished book